In just the past few months, we've seen some incredible new AI technologies into the markets. GPT-3 has a new version of their DaVinci models, Stability AI launched Stable Diffusion, and ChatGPT completely blew up the internet. And the crazy part is, these tools allow small, independent online entrepreneurs like myself to access and build products on top of their technologies. Let's take a look at some super cool SaaS ideas you can build using AI. Welcome here to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Simon Harberg, startup CEO, founder, and extremely excited about making money on the internet. If you're also excited about SaaS, tech, and entrepreneurship, you came to the right place. In this video, we're gonna talk about AI and how you can create an AI-based SaaS business. And don't worry, you don't have to be a hardcore machine learning engineer to make this work. Let me give you seven ideas you can pick up today. At this point, you've probably already heard about ChatGPT. It's a new creation from OpenAI and it just completely blew up the internet when it launched. And with good reason. It's basically a chatbot you can use to help with all kinds of tasks. And it's extremely impressive what you can do with it. And this first idea I want to talk about actually came up on my team while working on one of our new products, LinkDrip. LinkDrip hasn't officially launched yet, so it's still not entirely clear to us who the ideal customer profile is and what it looks like. And last week, our UI UX designer was working on the UI for this product, and while trying to create user stories, she was annoyed that she didn't have a user persona to write the story for. So, of course, she opened ChatGPT, gave it a few pointers, and asked it to create a user persona. And so it did, with scary accuracy. She repeated this a few times, went into Figma and created some nice looking cards for each of them, for our team to remember. And this is the idea. Build an online user persona generator. When businesses want to understand their market better in the very early stages of ideation, they'd open this tool, describe their product, and it would create a set of user personas that fit, including demographics like education, income bracket, age, gender, and so on, but also personal values and beliefs. It would also create a profile image and a nice looking card that you can print out and hang in the office. Now the whole team can get familiar with the exact people they're building for while building the product, at least until further market research has been done. I imagine using GPT-3 to generate the text and biography of the users and technologies like DALI to create the profile image. They have low code solutions available. So again, you wouldn't have to train your own models or do any machine learning engineering. You would need to build a nice and convenient platform for the user and then integrate the AI part using OpenAI's official API endpoints. Another AI technology that completely blew up recently is Stable Diffusion from a company called Stability AI. With Stable Diffusion, you can use AI to generate some really impressive and super photorealistic images. Check this out. A solo founder on Twitter named Danny created this product called ProfilePicture.ai. And it's absolutely incredible. Of course, I couldn't help trying and for just 30 something dollars, it allowed me to upload a bunch of images of myself and he would then train a custom model on these images and generate all these super cool avatars based on my face. Danny's product completely took off and soon after a bunch of other creators followed up on this idea. Obviously, this technology doesn't stop at generating avatars. There's a lot of other things you can generate, which I think have enormous potential. So here's an idea, a virtual interior designer. Imagine this, you upload an image of a room you want to design or decorate, and then the product spits out five or 10 suggestions of how the room could look furnished, decorated, painted, with good lighting and so on. I think there's incredible potential in the interior design and architecture industry, which often uses complex and very time consuming 3D renderings in their sales materials. In fact, one of the creators who immediately jumped on Stable Diffusion is entrepreneur Peter Levels, and he built exactly this. Interior AI, it's the service that created the images I just showed you. But as far as I know, he's the only one currently working on this, so I believe there's still a lot of room in this market, especially considering different niches. You can specialize your service for restaurants or fitness centers or conference rooms. Really, there's a ton of ways this could go, and I think there's a great opportunity to become a first mover in this space. Though, I think it's worth mentioning that stable diffusion isn't quite as easy to get started with as GPT-3 or DALI. You do need a bit of experience setting up some infrastructure, and there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve when it comes to training these models. Also, apparently it can get a bit pricey as well. So worth taking into considerations before making a move on this idea. 
Now, let's talk a little bit more about DALI. DALI 2 is a new AI engine from OpenAI that can create realistic images from a description. It's also able to enhance or modify existing images and its capabilities are actually really mind-blowing. Fun fact, a few months ago I published a video where the intro has it looked like I'm participating in Shark Tank. Finding images from the Shark Tank studio was impossible, so I had to take a few screenshots of the studio with people in it and here I used DALI to remove the people and have it fill in the background so I could add myself on top. Photoshop has something similar called Content Aware Fill, but I really couldn't make Photoshop produce good results in this case. DALI just aced it right away. I was totally impressed with it. Anyway, let's just spin off from the previous idea with interior design. How about a service that can give you a stylistic makeover by producing certain styles of makeup and clothes? So, for instance, you want to try something new, but you're not really sure in which direction to go or whether a certain style would even fit you. So you upload your images to an app and it uses DALI to enhance your images based on a description. With this platform, the user can experiment with different styles and see how they would look on them before committing to anything. DALI has an API already, but you can't fine tune the models yet, though I'm pretty sure it's coming soon. In that way, you can even specialize and optimize a model for a very specific trend. All right, the next idea is actually something I saw recently and I was literally blown away by it. Check this out. An AI spreadsheet assistant. We all know that fiddling with spreadsheet formulas can be super tedious. So this plugin basically takes a description written in a normal human language and translates it into a complex formula. This can be used to synthesize data, write thank you cards, summarize product reviews, categorize feedback and a ton of other things. I tried it out myself and it was seriously impressive. It solves some tasks that are super complex to set up in a matter of seconds. The downside about this tool is that you have to provide your own OpenAI access token, which means that you have to set up an account yourself and you don't really know how much running cost this can produce. So if you can figure out how to create a similar plugin, but without having to create an OpenAI account yourself, I think you have a killer business right here. And this could go beyond just formulas. It could become a fully fledged AI spreadsheet assistant that can help you organize tables, analyze data, help structuring things in the right way and much more. I would subscribe to this tool without thinking twice. Another idea is to create a writing assistant for a specific niche. There are already a lot of amazing copywriting tools on the market. Copy AI, Jasper, PepperType, Mark Copy, just to name a few. So for this idea, it's crucial to pick a very specific niche and then fine tune your model to this type of writing. Fortunately, OpenAI has actually made this incredibly easy. Fine tuning a model basically means picking some of the pre-trained models OpenAI offer and then presenting this model with a lot of examples in order to tune it. OpenAI's pre-trained models are already wild as it is, but you're basically specializing them by showing them very concrete examples of writing and telling it, this is the kind of output I expect. It could be a service that generates legal document templates or financial reports or maybe marketing copy for a very specific business niche. If you're not an experienced programmer, browsing through OpenAI's documentation on how to create a fine-tuned model may seem a bit confusing and a bit complicated. It's actually not. Even with only a little experience in programming, I bet you can figure this out. Then put together a nice looking front end in Webflow and have users sign up using Member Stack, and you have yourself a great product to start off from right here. Okay, this next one here is a little bit more meta, but hear me out. An interactive prompt designer. If you've been playing around with some of these AI tools, you might have noticed that nailing a good prompt is actually not that simple. Even though the point with DALI, GPT-3 and ChatGPT is to provide a human-like description of what you want in plain English, small differences in phrasing and whether you provide examples on a certain format or not actually end up producing completely different outputs. And it can actually be pretty frustrating. I've spent hours on this and I mostly end up saving my winner prompts in a Google Keep so I can pull them out later. But we should be able to do better. What if I could sign into a service where I could pick topics from a list, perhaps use drag and drop and reorder blocks of elements I want included in the output. And then this service would simply generate a ready-made prompt for me to feed into GPT or DALI. I'm sure you can combine some clever engineering and some heuristic to generate high quality prompts on demand, giving certain criteria. Technically, you should be able to fine tune a GPT-3 model to create high performing prompts for GPT itself using much more vague and low quality inputs. 
So if you've also been pulling your hair and even been wasting money trying to get GPT-3 and DALI playing nicely, and if you've spotted some kind of pattern here, then this idea might be exactly for you. I would subscribe to this one right away. Finally, let me share my favorite idea with you. Don't build an AI SaaS. Instead, use AI as a feature to enhance the way your SaaS is solving a problem for your users. This is exactly what we do at FeedHive, the startup I'm running. FeedHive is not an AI tool. It's a social media management tool that uses AI, and we use it for a lot of things. It looks at your profile and helps you predict the best time to post. We're using AI to perform classification to find patterns in your followers' activity and to compare you with similar accounts. Using AI to build a model of your followers' activity is an excellent way to solve this problem. We're also using AI to predict how well your post will perform. In fact, we trained an AI model on hundreds of thousands of well-performing posts in our database in order to deliver a ranking on demand. So you just write your content, click a button, and our AI will tell you how likely the post is to perform well. Again, an excellent way of solving a problem. We're also using it to generate the perfect hashtags, suggest old posts to recycle, and a lot of other things. But they're features. You can't really take these out and have them be a SaaS on their own. It's still a part of a social media management tool. In fact, you could take these out and FeedHive would still be a fully functional SaaS product. You would just have to solve these problems in another way. And I'm saying this because this market of AI SaaS products has become extremely competitive. That doesn't mean you shouldn't go for it. I think you should. But if all your SaaS product is, is an API key to open AI, it's pretty easy to copy what you do. And companies do this. Trust me, both Danny and Levels were building AI avatar tools, generating up to $100,000 per month. And then Lensa came by. Big company, lots of money, built their own infrastructure instead of using an API and pumped the internet full of ads. And over the course of a few days, they made more than $1 million per day on the very same type of service. As Levels put it himself, they out-executed Danny and me really well. Don't get me wrong, this technology is absolutely amazing and it opens so many new opportunities. But while you're considering these ideas, try to think of ways you can incorporate them into a bigger solution that includes other things than just AI. It will make you stand much stronger in the market. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, but don't leave just yet. You definitely want to check out this video up next. So click right up here and of course, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will see you soon for another video.